Hello and welcome to another Drazine 160 video and today we're going to be having a look at one of my favourite auto rails which is the X3800 auto rail and uh, we've got a couple of examples to have a look at today. We'll have a look at the AR train version which is from the Transmondia shop in Paris and also the one that's on the front cover of the Del Prado magazines uh, series that's the Railways of the World uh, which is quite readily available quite cheap to get compared to the ar train version and we're going to be having a look at the pros and cons of each and potentially how to convert one so this is the del prado example here if you were looking to convert it it's a fairly simple conversion there's uh, some glazing which has been removed from this example which you'd need to do before it, you put a motor in and also the screw holes in the middle would have to be removed before you um installed a chassis onto this. In terms of the type of chassis I would recommend, I would suggest either the Tomitech TM15 or TM16, uh, depending on which is available, and they would both do a very good job at going in here, and they are very reliable chassis, and they come with a coupling clip which just slots in there. The only thing I would say about the coupling clip is that it you would need to remove the buffer beams for it to be able to be used, which um, could detract a little bit from the use. As you can see there, there's the, uh, the buffer beam, which actually is very well designed in that it will actually just pop off. And um, I think that uh, it's a, it's not a bad model this for the price. I've actually got um, I've had several of them over the years. Um, the this is, on the right is the standard version, pretty much unmodified, and on the left is a version I've uh, painted up and modified quite extensively to look like the X thirty nine hundred Commandant rail car that um, is a sort of like uh, SNCF directors inspector saloon i suppose and it's got um, a slightly different configuration doors in different places and vents in different places and whatnot um, but this is the sort of standard version um, personally i think the paint job is not amazing and there are some features which um, are not you know great you know the windows for instance are are not exactly um, uh, sort of as they would be in the real thing but um as a as a basis for a reasonable model, it's not bad, and uh, as you can see, uh, it is easy to modify. I've, uh, I've I've taken a little bit of time to modify the one above, and add doors and do various different things to modify it. And it was about ten years ago now, and so the uh, the work I'd, I'd probably do a better job now. But as a as a uh, a piece of work, I'm I'm still quite happy about that. Um, so. Um, of course, we've got uh, the, the sort of lineup of the three here. This still have you look at the X3900 with the um, the various different stuff that's uh, different to it. But this is the AR Train X3800. And um, this has a uh, sort of bespoke chassis, which I believe runs on some sort of Roco bogies. Um, it's got a much different uh, tooling. I'm not entirely sure how it works in terms of um, the, the, the sort of chassis, who makes the full chassis, but um, it was certainly not too hard to add a decoder inside it, which um, it, it was just a sort of a few modifications to the chassis to get the decoder to fit. Um, there are some external differences. For instance, the uh, ribs on the roof are less pronounced on the AR train version. And the uh, detailing is more exquisite, which, to be fair, you would expect from a model that is probably about five or six times the price of the Del Prado example. Um, the uh, the model is a very well made model. The the glazing, for instance, although it's not flush with the outside of the model, it's um, it is uh, better. It does seem to fit. There are uh, water slide transfers that appear to have been applied very well, and the uh, livery is a far more crisp and I feel perhaps a more accurate representation of both the red and the cream. Um, the roof vents appear to be in a, a slightly different configuration, and I'll be consulting my book later to establish whether they're in the correct position. And if you read in the comments below, I will let you know if they are okay and what the differences are. Um, and I think that um, that there are some um, uh, you know features in terms of the windows um, that are you know they seem to be more like the correct size. The front. Um, definitely has a, a more aesthetically pleasing feel to it. But then the Del Prado example doesn't look too bad either in some circumstances. So um, that is my uh, quick look at these two models. I, I think ultimately um, they both have their merits. Certainly the Del Prado example is cheap. 
Um, it's easy to find and uh, to motorize it with the Tomitec chassis gives a degree of reliability and you know what you're getting when you get the Tomitec chassis. The AR train chassis is not bad at all. It's um, It does have a sort of sense of being a almost homemade chassis. Um, and I would say that um, you know it probably probably could be a bit uh, more modern in terms of the standards that it could be built up to. Uh, for instance, the, um, um, the the sort of ability to install decoder, the fact there's no space for that, and I had to do some trimming away was was a, a slightly fr a slight frustration of mine. Um, but aside from that, they're they're both good models. I'm hoping at some point a new manufacturer will come along and uh, provide us with a, an up to date modern tooling with um, DCC and maybe even sound and that would be absolutely brilliant uh, until then i think um you know of both of these models i would suggest getting the ar train version if you can find a good one and if you can't then the del prado example is certainly not to be sniffed at it's a good um a sort of solid model and if you put the time in you can make it even better yourself uh, i will see you in my next video which will hopefully not be too long away thanks for watching like and subscribe if you're liking the content. That would be hugely appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye.